Hello or hello again, I'm Robert Allen, co-author of the book, The Four Maps of Happy Successful People. And this is the fourth and last in a series of short videos where I'll be sharing what I believe is the recipe for a successful life in whatever field you choose. To recap, one final time, I believe the most successful people in life have four things in common. One, they have clarity. They know what they want and they know why they want it. Two, they have anticipation. They have an incredibly effective approach to overcoming challenges, big and small. Three, they have a ritual, a habit of essential things they do every day. Four, they have a plan. They know how to structure their tasks and their time because they use that plan to get things done. So let's talk about getting things done, but not just anything the right things. All the action of our lives falls into two distinct categories, habit or task. Habits are the things we do every day, and tasks are specific things we do that build towards large accomplishments. In the last video, we talked about ritual and habit, and now we're going to talk about effective action. And if you guessed it by now, if you've watched any of the previous videos, we're going to draw what effective action looks like. And it starts off with that simple frowny face image of a person in an, a limited, bounded lifestyle, a frowny face lifestyle, and the smiley face life, what all of us want, living the ideal lifestyle. Now this is a, this is a climb. It takes effort to climb this mountain from the before picture to the after picture. And this is where we want to be. This is where we want to move ourselves towards as quickly as possible. But it's a struggle. It's a hard climb. And every single huge accomplishment in life starts as a tiny, small action. We all have big dreams, and I call them ideals. These are huge five-year projects. If you could go out five years from now and choose three ideals, like that, what would they be? You know, think about the big accomplishments you'd like to do. Would you like to maybe run a marathon, or did you start and sell a new business? I want you to get specific about what your three major ideals would be. And when you know what your ideals are, you have to take action towards them. So let's stop drawing for a second and talk about effective action versus ineffective action. How do you decide to allocate your limited time today, the limited task energy you have, to build towards your three ideals? Well, the first thing you do is you lose the to-do list. I mean, how many of you draw a to-do list up every single day? When I ask people around the, the world how many of them have a to-do list, you know, 80% of the people raise their hands so proudly, and I tell them, well, that's the reason you haven't succeeded because having a to-do list is one of the worst time management tools ever designed. Because how do you do a to-do list? You write down all the things you got to do that day, you think you ponder as many things as you can, and then as you start your day, how do you do it? You go down and find the ones you can cross off, don't you? And you cross them off and it feels good, a good buzz of accomplishment, except when you look at the things you cross off quickly, those things really didn't amount to much. The hard stuff usually is left to the end of the day. You procrastinated to the end. And since you did those easy, fun, fast things first, there is not enough energy left. So you put it onto the task list tomorrow. Trust me, this is the way most people do it. And they create the same list the same exact way. They cross off the things that are easy. They procrastinate the hard things and do the easy things. Successful people do just the opposite. They all procrastinate, but the successful people look for the hard things, look for the important things, look for the high leverage activities. If done, it moves them forward rapidly, and they procrastinate the little things. They both procrastinate. They just procrastinate differently. And therefore, the secret to success is to learn how to procrastinate, as strange as that might sound, because the most successful person on the planet is the best procrastinator. And if you want to succeed, you have to limit 
what you do to the high leverage activities that you identify every day. And you break those out by doing a simple chart like this. And obviously, the top five-year chart talks about ideals. Then I'm going to change the languaging here a little bit. We don't talk about goals. We talk about duns. And on a daily basis, we talk about musts. Yeah, this is one day. This is one year. And this is five years. Now, why change the languaging? Well, you notice the word done is a past tense word. And yet the word goal is a future tense word. And that's the problem. When you're thinking about goals, they are from a part of your brain where the thing you want to do hasn't been accomplished. It's still kind of wishy. It's maybe going to happen. But when you refer to things as a done, if it's done, it, you're thinking from, an, from a part of your brain where it has been accomplished, where it's been achieved. And therefore, I'm going to have you change the languaging from goal setting to, to, to declaring a done. Now, I know that sounds maybe simple. It might sound like very subtle. But the change between those two concepts is profound. Because when you declare a done, when you decide that this must be done, then only three things that you're going to do this next year, three major projects to get done this year to take you towards your ideal lifestyle, when you think in a past tense way, it changes the way you approach the world. You see it from having accomplished already. And I can, I can spend a lot of time trying to share that with you. I want you to just start thinking about a new way of saying it. It's a done. Because when you make it that important, so important that it's simple, so important that it must be done, watch what happens to your thinking about doing things. Most people just throw off the word goal. I've got a goal to do this. I've got a goal to do that. But when you say, I declare this is done, it starts to get done. You change your activities throughout the day to make sure that happens. And what do you do on a daily basis? Well, there are certain small activities you do every day, steps you must take. If you're going to climb this mountain, every day there needs to be steps taken. So that the duns that you've declared lead you to the ideals that you really, really, really want. It simplifies everything. Instead of having a to-do list with 30 items on it, you have a must list. And these are the three things that must get done today. No matter what else gets thrown at you, at the very end of the day, if there are a couple of things that have not been done yet, then you must do them. Because if you don't do them, the, the duns don't get done. And if the duns go de don't get done, then, well, that's not going to happen. Because if you declare it to be done, it must be done. This is a simple way of doing what I call visual project management. And most corporate project management is very left brain. It's very systematic, step by step, very wordy. I want you to be able to see the images simply that, so you can remember them so that the pictures become so ingrained in you and the process becomes so simplified for you that it takes you towards your ideal lifestyle. That's what I want for you. Isn't that what you want for yourself? For you to actually live the ideal lifestyle? Well, if you've been through all these videos, or even if this is the first you've seen, I want to thank you for spending some time with me. Success really is a formula. The formula goes like this, clarity plus anticipation plus ritual action plus task action equals success. If you have clarity, you'll always have motivation. And if you know how to anticipate your challenges, they won't stop you. If you build a personal ritual, you can get done what's truly important every day. And finally, if you understand how to choose effective action and break up your tasks into manageable projects, you can achieve truly huge ideals. Now, in these short videos, I've only been able to scratch the surface of what I want to teach you about the four maps of happy, successful people.
But at the same time, I've tried to touch at least a little bit on almost every single concept in my book. And if you like what you've seen, I invite you to pick up a copy of the book and to visit me at robertallen.com. And whatever your path takes, I wish you the best, and I want to leave you with this. I believe you were put on this earth to do great things, to do big things, but you must do them. You must take control. Decide that you're willing every day to make your dreams more real than your fears. If you decide to go for it, you will see champions come out of the woodwork and help you. And hopefully, these four maps can be roadmaps for you every day to keep you on track towards your ideal lifestyle. Go for it.